What's up everybody, Chris Gault here, Healthy Living with Chris Gault, and today we're going to talk about aging well tips. You just need to see this and we're going to get started right now. Alright, make sure you watch the full video and that way you'll get the full benefit. And make sure you also take action on these tips I'm going to give you. Because remember Newton's law, that a body at rest will stay at rest and a body in motion will remain in motion unless a force is acted upon them. So basically what that means is if you want to make changes to your life, then you have to actually change something in your life. So make sure you listen to all these tips because they all kind of go together too. You need to do all of them. So make sure you watch the full video and then implement those tips and you are going to be on your way to being healthy and happy. All right, so let's, uh, before I get into these tips, I just want to talk a little bit about my past. I wasn't always, I didn't always live a healthy life. Um, I was pretty healthy, you know, around after college or so, and I did run cross country and track in high school, so I was a little healthy there but my diet wasn't great and I really didn't eat uh, well at all. But So I was pretty healthy, but I wasn't really, really where I am today. And I also, somewhere in my 50s, I noticed that I was aging a lot quicker than other people that I knew, but I was also aging a lot less than other people that I knew. So that's why I created the whole channel, is you know, how do we stay as young as possible and as healthy as possible as we go through life? So these tips are going to help you with that and these are the ones that i implement and do every day so the first one is to act, exercise and be active every day now the important thing when i say that is make sure you pick a routine that you could do for the rest of your life and make sure you mix it up so you're not doing the same thing you need to get in a mix of exercises of resistance cardio uh, stretching core and balance and that way you'll stay healthy and you'll mix it up and your muscles are going to be confused and they're going to work harder to stay uh, to stay healthier and younger as you go through age through, through, through life. So just make sure that you pick different exercises and just for instance so I, I, and I just want to mention too is this doesn't have to be like you're working out all day long. I only put in about 30 minutes a day on my exercise routine. Um, I am a little active on other things and I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. But first, what, I just want to go over my, my, what I do, my routine. So on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I do resistance training. And in that, I will work my chest and my triceps on Monday. And on Wednesday, I will do my back and biceps. And on Friday, I will do shoulders and legs. And I usually do some sort of, so it's with weightlifting, but I'll also incorporate some hit in there and stretching every day. Um, I also will incorporate yoga at times because I like to get yoga in because it's just, and I'll talk about yoga down the road too, but yoga is just so good for you in so many ways, it's amazing. And then on the off days of that, on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays, I'll go running. And I typically like to go running outside because you know, I live in San Diego, so I might as well go running and I live uh, two blocks from the beach, so I might as well go out there and actually run on the beach where it is nice and fun to do. So I, I do that and I would recommend you doing that if you can, if you can get outside. The one thing I wouldn't recommend, and I see a lot of people do it, is they join a gym and they get on the elliptical and they go at it for 30 minutes and then they got off the, the elliptical and then they go home and they do that over and over and over again, five days a week or three days a week or whatever it is. They're not really doing all the other types of exercises they need to do, but also it's just so boring. So you're not looking forward to doing your exercise routine. So the best type of exercise routine is to pick one that you can live with the rest of your life that's gonna make it fun and it's gonna be something that, that, that you can do. So you don't wanna overdo it too. A lot of people go in and they'll just overdo it. You know, oh my God, I'm gonna join a gym and they really kill themselves and they're in pain and they hurt and they don't look forward to going to the gym. You got to do enough so you're actually working out, but you have to do not so much that you're actually regretting going in. So remember, this is not something you do in a week. This is something you're going to do for the rest of your life. So you need to pick a routine that you're going to stick with the rest of your life. On Sundays, even though I don't work out, I, I do stay active. And so when I say active, is I will go on a hike or a bike ride 
And we also, on every day, we walk our dog twice. So those are pretty long walks. So we're always getting a little active. Also, I'll try, like we go grocery shopping on Sunday, I try to park as furthest away as I can from the store. So when, you know, it gives me, uh, you know, I need to walk to the store as opposed to be parking right in front. I'm not sure why everyone fights to park right in front of the store. You know, and that way they can get absolutely no exercise. So I don't really understand that. You want to park a little bit farther away from the store and then you can, uh, you know, you're going to get a little bit of exercise that way. Taking the stairs when you can instead of taking the elevator, all those kind of things help you stay active. But also try to pick things that are fun. So like hiking and biking, all that kind of stuff can be fun. So make sure you do that. Living over here near the ocean, we see a lot of people jumping in the ocean with their, with their surfboards. That's a great way to get some activity in as well. So make sure you do that. Exercise would be active every day. Get moving, get your blood moving, getting everything going is gonna help. The second one, and I think it's pretty simple, I think everyone would agree with this, but basically don't smoke. And when I say don't smoke, this is where sometimes people get confused. I mean smoking anything. So that goes with cigarettes, cigars, vaping, you know, obviously marijuana and drugs and all that. All that stuff is completely, completely, completely terrible for you. And the main reason why it's so bad for you is that smoking limits oxygen to the blood. And the blood, basically, the function of blood is to bring oxygen and nutrients to the cells. So obviously when you're smoking and you're replacing that oxygen with CO2 and other, other harmful chemicals like nicotine or whatever it is that you're huffing into your, into your uh, lungs, all that's going into your blood and then there's less oxygen that's going to the cells. What happens when the cells don't get enough oxygen and nutrients? They start to die. So what, and, and I mean everything, your skin, your eyes, your heart, your lungs, everything, your hair, everything is made up of cells. So the healthier your blood is, the better your whole body is going to be. So make sure you don't smoke, and I'm talking about anything, and that means even being in a smoke-filled room, if you're gonna be someplace where people are smoking, try to get out, away from that, and that way, or even sit next to a fire where a lot of the smoke is coming in. You just wanna stay away from getting smoke into your lungs, because again, that's gonna replace very, very important oxygen into your blood. So make sure you don't smoke. And the next one is to pick a diet that you can stick with the rest of your life and try to make it healthy. So try to eat as much as you can, uh, organic and raw vegan as you can, but you know, it doesn't have to be 100%. Obviously, I, I'm not 100% uh, organic I tr or raw vegan. I, I am 100% vegan now. I'm not saying everyone needs to be vegan. Obviously, um, they aren't. So, so don't worry about that, but try to pick a diet that's somewhat healthy that doesn't have a lot of processed gunk in it. Um, you don't want to be eating Doritos every day, but try to pick one that you can though also live with the rest of your life. Um, and in saying that, you know, I would say like, that's why I think like intermittent fasting, is probably not a great way to go because it's very difficult to live with that the rest of your life. Like and for instance, so you can't eat after three o'clock, let's say, but let's say your friends want to meet up for dinner at six. Well, you can't go out to dinner at six with your friends because you know, your, your, your intermittent fasting says you can't. I mean, that, it's just not a sustainable diet. So make sure you pick something that's sustainable that you can do the rest of your life. Also get a good mix of the macros in. So that's you know, lean protein, good carbs, and healthy fats. So you wanna make sure that you get those things in. And we all know what lean protein is. Uh, you know, it's basically not a lot of fat in it. Um, and then with your carbs, you wanna get good carbs like quinoa and vegetables and fruits as opposed to you know all this processed junk that you can get like spaghetti processed spaghetti all that kind of stuff those are bad carbs and fat you want it to be healthy fat so like avocados and olive oil and coconut oil are all better fats than bacon fat and animal fat in general which is all saturated and just not good for you so make sure you get a good breakdown of those protein carbs and when I would say good carbs and healthy fats. And typically you want 40% lean protein, 40% good carbs, and 20% healthy fats. And that's a good, good breakdown for most people. 
I mean, it might not work for everybody, but that is a good breakdown for most people and probably a good way to start. You know, if, you, if your doctor says that you need to do something different, that's great. You know, do whatever your doctor says. If you're on a weight loss program, make sure that you follow that. And if you're looking for a weight loss program, my wife is a health coach for a weight loss, loss program. And you can see her, you can go to her Facebook page. I will leave the information in the comments below or in the description below. So that way you can go see that and go there and check her out. And then you can also message her, her in Facebook and get a 20 minute free consultation and it doesn't cost anything for that. And she could just tell you what would be a good program for you if you are looking to lose weight in a healthy way. So make sure you pick a diet that you can stick with and you will be better off. Uh, implement a good, healthy sleep regime. It's very, very important to get seven and a half to eight hours of sleep at night. I know a lot of us don't do that and some of us even brag, oh, you only got four hours of sleep last night. Well, you know, that's not something to brag about. What's something to brag about is that, you know, I actually got my seven and a half to eight hours of sleep in every night. That's something to brag about because your body is, has to regenerate and needs that. Try also, if you can, because the easier way to get that seven and a half to eight hours in is to go to bed at the same time every night and to wake up in the morning at the same time. And if you do that, you will build some sort of internal clock in your body and you'll probably get to a point where you probably won't even have to set an alarm clock. You'll wake up at that time and you'll be ready to go. But make sure that you Get to that point where you are going to bed at night at the same time and waking up every night or every morning and you're getting your seven and a half to eight hours in and your body is just gonna feel really good about that. Also, make sure that you, if you can, sleep on your back. Um, if you sleep on your stomach, your faces get smashed into all the sheets and you get wrinkled up and everything. So, so if you can sleep on your back, I know it's tough. I sleep on both. I try to sleep on my back as much as I can. I'm not 100%. I'm not perfect, but you know, as much as you can, try to do that and you'll be better off. The next one and the last one, have a stress management program that you could do every day. So I try to meditate at least five minutes a day and I just kind of do the breathing method where I'm breathing in and breathing out and I just concentrate on that breath for five minutes and I concentrate that and just let my wine concentrate more on the breath and it just really relaxes me. You can also listen to really calm, relaxing music. I do have a few videos on that that you can go to and check out. You can even check out my playlist where I have about, I think I have three videos there that have calm, relaxing music that you can play and just sit back. This is not stuff like Led Zeppelin or, or Def Leppard or anything like that. I'm talking about to really relax. You need some calm, peaceful, instrumental type music so you're not really thinking about the words but you just look at listening to some instrumental music that's just going to take your mind away and just relax you um, also and this is very important especially you know what we're going through now today especially in the united states of america but the rest of the world is going through the pandemic the united states is going through some crazy times with the elections and and uh, just some diversity of, of what's going on. But as much as you can, stay away from news and from negative people and from conversations that are just negative and conversations that try to divide people and conversations that just are just blaming others, pointing fingers. Just try to stay away from all of that and you'll be better off because all that does is just gonna stress you out. You know, regardless of what side of the equation you're on, it's just going to stress you out. And also, news stations tend to go for more sensationalism. So if there's a, a disaster, someone gets in a car crash, boy, they're, de they're definitely going to talk about that car crash and they're going to play it up. But if someone like gets an award for saving someone, they typically will, show, will not show that. So try to stay away from the news because for some reason, they think negativity, and maybe it is, maybe it's true, people love to watch negative stuff, but the more of us that don't watch the negative stuff, then they'll have to change what they put on the news, and maybe they'll put more positive stuff on the news, which we all can use. So, Now, those are my tips, but I do want to just throw in one more, and I say it all the time. Uh, I, it's just that it's so important to hydrate and to get the right amount of hydration in. And so the only thing I wanted to say is I have a video on that too. So make sure you watch my video on hydration. And that way you'll know there's a formula there about how much you should drink based on your body weight 
and all, mainly water, not, not a bunch of other junk. Not coffee doesn't count as water. Iced tea doesn't count as water because there's other stuff in it like caffeine that's a diuretic. I'm talking about this plain water that can refresh you. You could always squirt in a little bit of lemon or something to make it taste a little better or infuse it with blueberries, but make sure that you're getting uh, enough water and you can watch that video so that way, because I know I have to wrap this video up. So that's all I had to say basically, and I'm just wondering what you got from this video and are you looking to reflect on your own life and hopefully make some changes if needed? If you have any other thoughts that you would like to add, make sure that you put those in the comments below. If you have any other ideas, again, how to be live a, half, a healthier uh, life and to age well, make sure you put those in the comments below because we can all learn from each other and I think it's great that we can. So make sure you do that. Also, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and that way YouTube knows to push this video out to others so that more can benefit from it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that bell notification and that way you will be notified every time I put out a healthy living video. Currently I'm putting them out every Thursday and every Sunday so that's twice a week and you'll be notified and you can just click on that notification and bam you'll be in that next video and you'll be learning more about how to live a happy and healthier life. So make sure you do that and if you know anybody who can use healthy living videos like this one make sure you share this video and the channel with them so that way they can benefit as well right they can join in all the fun and for more tips on living a happier healthier life two videos are going to pop up any minute and you can click on one of those and you can continue your happy healthy living journey and i will see you all soon